I know for a while, so I just joke with her. Then another patient uh, we took, and this was really, it made me forget. She never knew about YouTube. So we were back in the ambulance. I'm showing YouTube. She's watching Sam Cooke, a famous singer from back in the 50s. And he was really, he didn't stay in his place like black he was supposed to. And he was really the first black. Um, he was a smart business-wise, great singer. He, he died, he was murdered by, well, that's another story. But anyway, it made her happy. And what I brought up for her, she told me that when she lived in Alabama as a girl, she saw the people getting hosed down and then her dogs with the Martin Luther King era. And uh, can you imagine seeing that? And she got double amputated legs. And it's like, we're all living history books. And that's why I'm telling these videos. Because I feel like being 58 and living by myself and Natasha's going to be 50 soon. And I'm like, wow, this life is really going by. So I just, um, uh, and then I, I'm going down Uncle Edwin. And it's another story. When I was around your age, Mo, I remember I live a wild life. And I did a lot of things, crazy. I came back and told my uncle on the phone, like all these things. He just interrupted me in the middle of my sentence, like, Oh, yes, yeah, dude. And my prostate cancer is fine. Your eyes fine. And okay. And he's like, that's okay. Well, why'd you say that? He said, Stu, the world don't revive around you. And he hanging up the phone. That was an epiphany. <laughs> and then uh, what else I got down here? Uh, they, oh, yeah, that was funny to me. I wrote down things so I get stressed out. I, I'm making a video so I can look at this and say, oh, that is funny. That does make me laugh. I was taking people to mental hospitals. I'm not going to say which one. And there was this, they had like a wall. And you clear a wall, and the people would sit in the chair, and you see all kinds of things. So I, I thought I had like issues. I got issues like that. And uh, we all did. We all reacting. Everybody's effed up in different ways. Some people are hiding better. <laughs> I just don't hide it well. And so I went to uh, take somebody there, and I was like, Dave, how you doing? He's like a chubby white guy with glasses, real cool. And he was like, Yeah, I'm okay. I'm on this side of the wall. <laughs> I thought that was funny. And he was like, He said something to me one time, and he's like, And I thought about it. He said, There are two types of people. There are those you get stoned with, and there are those who will stone you. So I thought that was deep. Anyway, I'm near the end of this. And there's two more things at the Miller Hospital that are kind of, I'm not making fun of it, no, baby, but it just makes me laugh, like I said, once again. One time I went there, and the guy, my regular partner, like most of my regular partner here, this guy named LeVar. He's a police officer now. So we go there, and this guy thought he was Michael Jackson. You got pictures. This is a Miller Hospital. All in the room, and chairs, see all kind. Of, and he thought it was Michael Jackson. And I saw all the counselors with the head on the table laughing. So I'm a little personal, jokey, jokey guy. I go back and say, what's going on, guys? He said, yo, yo, you guys see this one. I said, what are you talking about? This guy thinks he's Michael Jackson. So I go up to him, right? And I try to be everybody to benefit the doubt. So I go up to him, I'm like, hey, man, how's it going? He goes, hello. <laughs> you know, and this is in the middle hospital, right? And I said, listen, um, I said something. This guy went, yes, turn around like this. Everybody just fell out crying. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, this is a middle hospital. <laughs> you know, one time and another time. I remember LeVar, my regular partner, and I remember he's just still stop being so nice. Now that's probably my guy. I remember, saw an audio book recently about stop being a nice guy. I've got to watch it over and over. Because I do feel that it's a problem in my life. And uh, cause you gotta be like, uh, who's that Jordan Peterson said? You gotta be a monster too. You can't be too compassionate, but you can't be too soft either. You know what I mean? That's why I take martial arts. But anyway, uh, we had a guy in the back of the ambulance and he was a light skinned black guy with glasses. He looked professional and everything. So I was talking to him, right? And LeVar said, Stu, you stop talking to all these people on the site, you know something's wrong. And I was like, I said, what? I didn't know what's wrong with him. So I started talking to him. We saw him about the Eagles and the politics. I said, this guy is normal. So, so after about like five minutes, I thought, well, I just want to say why he's going there. And he looked over to the side, he said, why does he keep looking at me? And I looked over and I'm like, who's looking at you? He said, him. And then LeVar was going to the stairwell like this, like, yo, I told you, dude. He's effing crazy, but I didn't know. And the thing was, the last one I'm gonna end on this note, and it made me reevaluate myself, this is one of the craziest things I had experienced when I was an ambulance driver. We was on 76 in Philadelphia, the highway, and we are taking someone to a, a mental unit, a mental health hospital, mental, whatever. And so anyway, older black guy, and he took the straps off the stretch straps in the back, and he's gonna jump out the back of the ambulance, and I push out the thing, lock, I said, yo, yo, what are you doing? And he's like, no, nah, I don't want to. And I, I was like, in front of him, like, stop. And he sat down, I said, let me tell you about my life. Don't you know this guy, he stopped acting crazy and looked at me like I was the patient. He was, <laughs> I was like, yo, but I saved his life. <laughs> anyway, I said these things to make myself laugh. And if you like it too in YouTube land and it makes you laugh, cool. If you don't, millions of, videos, millions of other videos to watch. Mo, thanks again, that's it, boom.